Hello, good evening friends. Today we will discuss about the structure of coronavirus that is the SARS-CoV-2. Okay, so before dry, I will draw the structure of coronavirus. I will tell you a few things about this virus. Okay, so it is an enveloped virus. It is an enveloped virus. First point is that it is an enveloped virus and it is about 0.1 to 0.5 micron meter in size 0.1 to 0.5 micron meter in size and it is a single standard positive sense rna so it is an rna virus it is an amplified virus 0.1 to 0.5 micron meter in size and it is a single standard positive sense rna virus okay so now i will draw the structure of the rna virus from inside to outside okay so this is the single stranded rna and this single stranded rna is being covered by a protein known as the nucleocapsid protein okay then outside this nucleocapsid we have one more covering and that covering is known as the envelope this is the envelope that covers the nucleocapsid and on this envelope there are three proteins which are attached one protein is known as this is known as the spike protein it is distributed throughout the surface of the envelope and it gives the virus the shape of a crown like a crown it is arranged throughout the surface so crown so the name is derived that is the corona virus from the shape of this structure of the covid okay and it is having small projection spike protein has having small projection on the upper side okay on this envelope we have two more proteins i will draw now two more proteins and these proteins are one is known as the membrane protein i am drawing the membrane protein it is also distributed throughout the surface of the envelope these are the membrane proteins okay these are the membrane proteins then we have one more protein that is present on the surface and that protein is known as the hemagglutinin so these are the hemagglutinins these are the hemagglutinins i will tell you the fun their function now these are the hemagglutinin present throughout the surface of the envelope protein okay now let me label them then i will tell you their function from inside to outside this is single stranded rna this is rna then outside it, it is nucleocapsid it is designated as n then it is the envelope this is the envelope written as e okay this is the membrane protein m this is the spike protein written as s and this is the hemagglutinin written as h okay now their function and the function of nucleocapsid is to cover the rna it protects the rna and rna will produce the protein and whatever the protein which is being produced these are the protein being produced by the viral rna and this protein is being assembled by the membrane protein this is a membrane protein which assembles these proteins okay this is a function of membrane protein and the function of hemagglutinin it acts as a fusion protein that is it takes all of this membrane and this envelope and it fuses it with the host cell this is a host cell and it fuses with it this this envelope is being fused by the hemagglutinin so it is also known as fusion protein it is known as fusion protein okay now the function of the spike protein spike protein is having the spike and this spike on the upper end it is the receptor binding domain receptor binding domain receptor binding receptor binding domain okay and what it does it binds with the receptor on the host cell this is the receptor on the host cell and it is known as the ace2 receptor angiotensin converting enzyme to receptor okay this receptor binding domain attaches with the ace2 receptor of the host cell okay so receptor binding domain is also called as s1 and there is one more portion of the spike protein which is the s2 and this s2 act as a fusion protein like hemagglutinin hemagglutinin and s2 fuses the membrane with the host cell okay this is the function of the spike protein now the function of the envelope protein it anchors all the proteins it acts like a shield for this 
single stranded RNA virus. It acts like a shield, and all the proteins are being anchored by this amblyopia protein. See, this is all the all the proteins being anchored on the amblyopia protein. Okay, and it does not allow disintegration of these other proteins. Okay, now this amblyopia protein. I will give you an example to better understand this amblyopia of this coronavirus. Let's take this example. Okay. I will now draw. This is the envelope protein, and you consider envelope as a rope. Okay, this rope is binding all the proteins. See, it binds all the proteins. Okay, and suppose this is the spike protein. This is the spike protein which is anchored by the envelope protein. This is the membrane protein, and you take this as an hemagglutinin. Okay, other proteins are also there, but that is that is not of, of much importance. Okay. so this amblyopia protein it it anchors all the protein on its surface okay so this is the function of the amblyopia protein now i will tell you one important function of the spike proteins it is very important to understand the function of the spike protein okay so this is the spike protein okay as i already told you that it helps in attachment with the receptor of the host cell okay by attachment the virus enters the cell okay so attachment this is the one function another function that it is antigenic this portion is antigenic by antigenic i mean is that this antigen when introduced inside the body it produce for suppose this is a human being and but it is it is introduced inside the human being it produce antibody okay and antibody production is this process is being used for vaccination during the vaccination we introduce the antigen of the spike protein is being used and that's why the patient is getting immunity or the individuals are getting immunity because of this process okay one more function is that the spike protein changes its shape it changes its shape okay because it changes its shape it is responsible for causing the waves of corona virus a repeated infection is occurring because this portion repeatedly changes this portion of the spike protein gets repeated changes okay that's why it causes the epidemic so the function of spike protein is that it helps in attachment with the receptor of the host cell then it can be used as a process of vaccination it is being used also and it is responsible for causing the repeated infection or repeated waves of the covid virus okay so these are this is the structure of the corona virus and this is the single stranded rna outside it is being supported by the nucleocapsid and outside it we have the amblyopia protein on the amblyopia protein we have the membrane protein hemagglutinin and the spike protein okay that's it thank you